Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It was a great life out here. So it was a great life. I once again come <clears throat> to you dressed like I scavenged my clothes from newspaper shreddings. But I'm here. I guess magazines more closely. Yeah. I just feel whatever the pattern is, it feels like I found it in the streets. Dang, we're like an earthbound or something. Yeah, that's expensive streetwear. <laughs> that's like when Kanye West did the thing where he like put all of his clothes into garbage bags before selling them. Well, I am culturally unaware. It's probably good. <laughs> it's probably for the best. That piece of information is taking up trigonometry. That's super fair. Dude, I'm excited to hit some more Al Green. That's all I know. That's yeah. all I know. Actually. Last one we hit was Love and Happiness on a live stream. I, th I think it was like a Patreon backstage live stream too. Oh, or like an after party We gotta stream. release so that. If you're not will... on the Patreon, you need to get on there specifically at least for Al Green. Yeah. It's so good. We'll repost it. But, yeah. but I'm, I'm freaking pumped, dude. Yeah, dude, I... Yeah, definitely before you all run into the comments and say, hey, love and happiness, just know it's coming. Yeah, it's coming that was such a good song, and I've been bumping it a lot. Like, it's consistently been in, like, weekly rotation. There yeah. was, in the stream, somebody was like, we used to, like, play pool at some bar, mm. and we timed the first break of, like, when we do tournaments with when the song drops in. Ooh, just a little fun ooh, fact ooh. that now I can't get out of my head. So thank you, whoever said that. Uh, Dang. Dude, let's just do it. Let's go, man. This is Tired of Being Alone. You see, baby, Great. I, 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 I've been thinking about it, yeah. And I, I've been, I, I've been wanting to get next to you, baby. You see, sometimes I fool moms, I say, mm -hmm. <laughs> no. man. He's so creative. The like, charisma's off the charts, man. The charisma's off the charts, but I'm just talking from a purely like creative standpoint. Like the guitar lines, what he what is like the chord wise, what is being played, like goes through almost three different songs. One is like a really heartfelt emotional love song. One is a sad kind of breakup song or like missing you. And then the third one is like where he's kind of upbeat in a way, like mm -hmm. almost goes major mm -hmm. and it feels happy. And like, I, I don't know, dude, it went through like literally three different 
things and moved in and out seamlessly where you almost couldn't tell where one was like beginning or ending. It feels like the stages of grief a little bit where he goes into, I think the acceptance is when it goes up a little bit. Whatever that middle, yeah. Whatever that middle section is where he's like saying words a little faster. He's like, yeah. It's like such a fun, upbeat thing. Gosh, I don't know anyone else who's done that. I freaking love the, I just crossed my arms and go. That was funny as fuck. That's for sure my favorite moment. I think you get so much personality from him in his songs. Cause yeah, you, you get, we get that from Love and Happiness as well, and Let's Stay Together. Like, yeah. I think all of his songs, you get Man, so much what personality. A good like <clears throat> few songs to have in your category or in your catalog. Dang, what a good artist to exist. Yes, <laughs> love it, man. Holy cow! And it's all like none of it feels the same. Like it's all yeah. like okay, this is Al Green sounding, but it's his voice is immaculate. That yeah, I think yeah, you're right. His personality just shines through. It's like the. The source of the sauce is the same, but it's just different expressions and colors each time, it feels like. He's like salt, dude. I feel like he would be good on and with anything, but vastly different. You could put him in some dark chocolate, make some like salted caramel. You could put him in something savory. He's good. His sauce yeah. is the sauce that complements anything. He Al Green is salt. You heard it here first. That's why we're literary geniuses. We, maybe you, but I don't know about me. I'm not the, <laughs> the most facetious possible. Calling an artist salt, I think, is oh, crazy. Um, insane. Dang. What do we what do we hit next for him? And don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to repost Love and Happiness on here. So you guys can enjoy that. You are, for one, we didn't even rate this oh, bad boy. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. Three, two, one. A, a plus. plus. Yeah, easy, for sure. Easy A plus. Dude. Also, just to note, the organ is incredible. So tasteful underneath. The bass is doing cool stuff. Like, the drums, I felt like, I, I, I loved, really my favorite th uh, parts of this were the drums and the guitar, my, the vocals, obviously, but like the drums and guitar laid such a good foundation for everything, and you almost didn't need anything else. I also love how the horns complimented his voice. I think yeah. the horns did a great job too. Yeah. No, it was just such a well done track. I just want to touch on that, because I know his voice can steal the show, and I think the guitar stole the show a little bit, but like all the supplementary instruments really compounded the feeling it was just dope yep but yeah so easy good. a plus so good let us know where to go next with yeah. al green he's got a lot of sauce he's got a lot of sauce we'll catch you guys there see ya peace all right guys thanks so much for watching if you want to get a good time watching that video if you want to upvote the video subscribe if you're not already check out some other videos here on the youtube or on the patreon if you want extra juicy stuff you can't get on youtube because they block you